G'day guys, Sci-Fi back yet again with another Subscriber's Choice 120. Yeah, getting there. This one goes out to my mate Mega Gaz P, you've probably seen him before. Uh, yeah, he's getting himself, I think he's already got it, um, Jabba the Hutt. He's been bitten by the six inch bug, just like me, like many others. These figures are getting better and better, yeah. He's, so yeah, Jabba the Hutt was one of the uh, I don't know, probably the third or fourth I picked up and hoped over the years to get more of his goons and denizens and whatever and yeah, you know, I got this for my birthday many, many years ago, probably about 2012 whenever they, whenever they, he got released and there was quite a few on the, car, on, on the pegs or on the floor actually at Toys R Us, there was quite a few went for a few bob, but yeah it's actually quite good uh, six inch black series have gotten better and better as they went along yeah and also the gang's all here nearly um, still hope to get a, hope to see a few more uh, guys from Jabba the Hutt's palace so <clears throat> whatever I've got here they even stuck a jar in there had to as Jawas do cohabitate with the rest of the dudes in the palace yep the only one I'm missing out of this line so far is uh, Princess Leia in the Boosh disguise. And, yep, that is Greedo to the left there. But actually, in he, there was a Rodian in Jabba the Hutt's palace, so I call him Beedo, which is his stage name. And I stuck a Guavian Enforcer in there because I reckon, yeah, I couldn't put him anywhere else in with the rest of my six inch black series figures which are in another room but yeah that's all them that's all i've filmed them all pretty much well singular back in the day when i first got them glad to get them those they are the original bosk and ig88 that's the, <coughs> the Yudenga, lando and whatnot so yeah along with these newer figures and some of the new um imperial uh, figures like the new commanders and officers and whatnot. You know, I've just got to say uh, Hasbro have really <clears throat> reached a nice peak. They've you can't these figures you really have to nitpick to find the faults. <clears throat> Everyone's happy at the moment, I believe. But and I and Gaz, I don't know if you know a guy by the name of Yakface. He's pretty much will finds out all the new releases of new stuff. Mainly on Instagram, I look at him, and he does some long videos with Fly Guy. Now, there's another new series, another new line of figures called Hyper Real, and I've only heard about it, but today I saw a picture of a Hyper Real figure of Darth Vader, which is basically a, a, not a six inch black series, it's basically an eight inch black series, Hyper Real, supposedly. More detailed than all these guys. Well, the the comment section down below on Instagram was pretty much for what I thought. And when I saw the photo of, of course, Darth Vader, just what we need, another bloody Darth Vader. Yeah, so they're not good. Not good response to the picture. This is what people want, guys. New action figures, nicely detailed. Um, yeah. This is what we want, not another line of larger figures. Hasbro, if you really, if you are watching this, I doubt it, but there are a line of hyper real um, figures anyway out there, and they're called Hot Toys, and they're expensive and they're well put together. I don't see how a blown up version of Darth Vader, and I believe the 40th anniversary vintage card six inch Darth Vader is probably my favourite. I guarantee that one really. Knocked it out of the park, tonked it over the fence. So yeah, stop screwing us around. No one's going to buy it. I ain't buying any eight-inch figures. I've already got some nice six-inch ones. And like Gaz, like me, and like many others around there, we've all been bitten, and we've we'll buy anything new that's in the six-inch line and whatnot. Don't try and screw us over. Don't make products we don't need. So, Gaz, have you seen that post? I don't know if you have or not, but yeah, I'm not impressed. 
yeah, I hope you do manage to get some of these guys. They're out there somewhere. There's the new IG-88 and Bosk ones. They're the new line of them. They seem okay from what I can tell. But all right. And yeah, I would have preferred the Jabba the Hutt on his DS or his throne or whatever we call it with the hookah. I don't know. I think people have customed that one. But yeah, anyways, I'm happy with this. And I'd be happy, Hasbro, if you would release like Bib Fortuna, Riyi's Yak Face, or Sorel Mare, whatever his name is, because you've already got the moulds and casts of the three three-quarter inch ones. Just expand them instead of doing stupid eight inch ones that no one's going to buy and don't look as good anyway. All right, my rant and my video. All right, Gaz, um, all the best. Um, he, Gaz should leave a comment down below. I can't link. Click on his icon and check out his channel. He's got some really cool stuff. Very cool stuff indeed. All right, guys, hopefully getting some new stuff soon. Hopefully, hopefully this weekend. And we'll do some videos up shortly. All right, the force is with you. Always. Sci-fi out.